Hey everybody, hey Dean here. I had a request from Noel Brown and um, Meech Cross, among others, to talk about my Carbon AE-185. Now this is the guitar I got from Chris Lego, and uh, thanks again bro. <laughs> You're really looking out for a brother. This guitar is a fantastic electric guitar. It's the first Carbon electric I've ever owned. Uh, I used a Carbon Solid State Preamp the SX-15 on Under Authority's Black and White album. It was a great piece of gear. Um, about this guitar, it's a semi-hollow body. The F-hole, you know, it's a real F-hole. I got my finger stuck in it at practice one time, actually, if Herb remembers. But, uh, semi-hollow body. Basically, it has uh, two humbucking pickups and an acoustic bridge on it, which will really pay off later on in this video. The control layout is master volume, active electric tone. You can boost or cut uh, the electric tone with this. Acoustic active tone and a blend knob, which blends between the electric and the acoustic, and a coil tap, a master coil tap, which cuts both of these pickups to half power, basically, for those who don't play guitar. Guitarists know what a coil tap is. So it makes these, basically, shall we say, Gibson pickups and Defender pickups. It just activates one part of the pickup. 24 fret, which is two octave neck, ebony fingerboard, uh, graphite nut. The body wood is a spruce top, like, a, like an acoustic. And then everything else is mahogany. The neck is mahogany. You can see that it's a neck through design right there. The back, the sides, they're all mahogany. There's a battery compartment because it's, it's active. As I said, you boost and cut frequencies. Spurzel locking tuners right there. So tuning is very easy on this guitar. And it sounds just phenomenal. With, with the coil tap and the active stuff, I can really ride the volume and get all kinds of different tones. Here's my Pod HD500X with a uh, Bogner Shiva patch going on. <laughs> And now the coil tap. And that's an actual coil tap. You can hear some 60 cycle going on. I'm right under a fluorescent light. There. Now it disappears. So, at iHeart, I'm using this thing almost exclusively for all of my changes. But, I mean, it's it works so well you could pull off stuff like uh, stuff like Wind Cries Mary. I mean it's nice. And then just bring it right up to full power. It's very nice. But as I stated, there's an electric there's a electric side, there's an acoustic side. Fantastic. It's a Fishman acoustic circuit. Now, I haven't brought that to bear at iHeart Church yet, but anyone who saw me using my Parker with Under Authority knows all about that. And you can blend. Get those nice Trevor Rabin blendy type acoustic electric sounds. Add some uh, delay and some chorus for some Trevor Rabin type sounds. Nice, man. Very nice. 
It's all about the versatility. And this guitar has lots of it. Carbon AE-185. Uh, just If you get an opportunity to buy a carbon guitar, buy a carbon guitar. Hey, listen. Oh. Yeah, cool. Israel Houghton type stuff. Ah, thank you! <laughs> so anyway, that's the, that's the 411 on this Carbon AE-185. I hope I didn't bore anyone to death, and I hope I didn't talk over top of anyone's heads or anything like this. So, you know, peace out and uh, Merry Christmas. Where's my stop button? There's my stop button. Bye.